NAND only, or making logic circuits using NAND gates only. So first of all, let's have a look at the three fundamental gates. We've got NOT, AND, and OR, and we're going to make everything based on this. So to make a NOT gate out of NAND gates only, we just join both inputs together, and we end up with a NOT gate. To do the same with an AND gate, what we've got to do is we put both inputs into the NAND gate and invert the output. So I've given you the Boolean for this. We've got the, first of all, the NAND gate, and then we invert it again. Double bars cancel, and we end up with A and B. The OR gate's a bit more complicated. We invert the inputs and put them through a NAND gate. So I've given you the Boolean here for this. And then what we do is De Morgan steer and break the bar, change the sign, and then double bars again cancel. So three examples, and I'm going to do each of them two ways. Firstly, what we're going to do is replace the logic gates just using what we've seen on the last slide. So first of all, for this one, A and not B, we need to make not B, which we do with the single NAND gate there. Then we're going to make the AND gate from what we saw on the previous page, and that should do it. I'm going to show you where this comes from using Boolean algebra, which is another technique you can use. So what we need to do uh, to make this with NAND gates, we need the dot to have a bar over the whole thing. But we can't just do one bar because that inverts it all. We can do two bars instead. So there we go, two bars over the whole thing. And if I draw this out, so we've got not B, which is here, put it into a NAND gate and then invert it all. That's exactly what we've got in this expression. And this is exactly the same as we've got above. Example two is A or not B. So again, what we need to do, let's get the not B, and then let's get our OR gate from the previous slide. And we end up with A or not B. Now what we can do, this can simplify, because we've got B inverted here and inverted again. So if you're inverting something twice, it comes back as it was. So we can simplify it to this. Doing with Boolean algebra, we need to get rid of the plus sign, make it into a, a dot. So put two bars over the whole thing because we need to break one of them to change the sign. So let's break this bar here, change the sign. And then we notice we've got a double bar over B which cancels and this comes out as this. So if we now make this, we've got not A into a NAND gate with B which is here. Exactly the same as we had before. Both methods give the same answer. Example 3 is more complicated. It's sort of com a combination of the previous two. So first of all, let's make the not B, and then we need to AND it with A. That's our AND gate there. And then what we need to do is we need to put that OR with C. So that's the OR gate there. Now to simplify this, notice we've got a NAND gate and a NAND gate following each other there. So we're inverting it once, inverting it a second time, so we can get rid of that. So it comes out four NAND gates like this. Using Boolean algebra, again, what we need to do, uh, a couple of things. First of all, we need to get rid of the plus sign, make it into a dot. Also, we've got a dot with no bar. So we need to do both of those. So let's put two bars over the whole thing. First of all, we're going to attack it here. So break the bar, change the sign here, as we've done there. And now what we're left with, we've got not B, that's OK. We've got this dot here, it's got a bar over the whole thing. That's lovely. And the same here. So let's draw this. So we've got not and not C. So that's these covered. Not B nanded with A is here. And then these two halves nanded together here. And that's it.